welcome to this video tutorial today i am going to show you how you can configure understand your real distribution network data and i will explain the nature of distribution networks like real and ieee standard distribution network and later on i will explain how you can write your data in form of line data and low data files later on if you do your line data and low data m files creation well then you can fit your objective function according to these files and then optimization algorithm will be easy to use so let's get started so in most of cases we work for IEEE standard distribution networks but the real challenge for us to fit our objective function into real distribution network just like this one so challenge for us to convert our data from the network specification files to m file creation so in real distribution network data we don't have resistance and reactance we have length of uh, each section from bus to bus so if we have a bus from 5 to 6 then we have this specification length and uh, each section have a different conductor types so conductor types are explained in this data sheet so you can take a look at that the size and other specifications which are mentioned in this data sheet so each section have a different connector type and some have same connector types so if you want to calculate the resistance and reactance so it's not a tough job it's easy so here we have resistance factor so if we want to calculate the resistance what we have to do is to multiply our segment length if we want to calculate this segment resistance we will calculate this segment length with this resistance factor so if we want to calculate our reactance then we have to do the multiplication of a resistance factor with with this segment length and we are done so if we want to calculate the this segment z then we can easily scale it off scales of r and xl so we will calculate our impedance so let me show you the nature of our standard line data and low data so our standard line data files include resistance and, and reactance and in some cases we consider more data so which is not still available in the excel sheet but we can get in most of cases and we can analyze so here we have other parameters for this so in this case we have base capacity that is 7.6 mva and we have reference voltages that are 11 and some in some cases these are 12.6 so we have total here 330 buses so we have 335 buses total so each section have different conductor type so so if we are successful to create line and load data files then we can implement our matlab code into our this section so later on if we have a different objective function and then based on these data we can 
get a result according to it so in this case so if we have a different objective function and we have write m file according to it and we have test IEEE networks then we can also test our real data and check the algorithm correction or capability that uh, is the algorithm designed capable to find the solution or find results for our real network data so here I have write a program to test this your program will be different and when I run it I have got a results so I have already opened the Excel sheet to save time so on left side it's without DG on right side we have with DG so here you can see that we have all the good results possible so that's that's it so if you want us to do a different video on a different topic you can request in the description and uh, thanks for watching see you